Hello, and welcome to Beardicus Plays. My name is Beardicus, and today I'm playing AM2R, Return of Samus. If I sound a little out of it, it's because I just recorded four episodes of this! But none of the episodes actually worked. So as you can see, this was my first attempt, wherein I beat 15% of the game over the course of 42 minutes and three episodes. Then, realized that I had forgotten to hit record, which followed, which led me to doing this, starting a new file and recording one episode for 15 minutes where I got 14%, which is weird because I still had to kill four Metroids to catch up to where I was over here, but whatever. So, then, I went to make sure that the episode had recorded, and it didn't for some reason. I don't even know why. There was some kind of error that prevented it from recording. So now I'm going to give it one more try, and if this one doesn't work, then I don't know what to do. Because I don't have any other episodes recorded. I don't have any other episodes pre-recorded. This, I, I don't know. So, I'm going to give this one more shot. And if it doesn't work this time, then I don't know what to say. Metroids, yada, yada, yada. Okay. So, the first couple of times, I, I read all that. And I was very, very into this stuff. I was, I was very, oh yeah, I'll read all the lore. I'll, I'll do all of that. I'll do a, the funny narrator voice. And then... And then it didn't work, so I did it all again. I did it twice. I did it twice, and now I'm just, I don't even, I can't anymore. So here, let's just go through the lore. Mission briefing, kill all the Metroids and help the science team. Planet SR388, this is the home world of the Metroids, and there's existence of Chozo. There's evidence of the existence of Chozo. Research team went to check to make sure that there were no Metroids left on the planet. There were, and now there's just a distress beacon, a distress signal that reached HQ. Rescue team is some really strong elite group consisting of heavily armed soldiers. Their mission was to do some stuff. And then data sent the place, gave us an approximate number of Metroids, and that allowed them to develop a scan that lets me see how many Metroids are in an area. And you can see that in the bottom right, there are 55 Metroids, and there's one in this general area. <sighs> the Metroid species, the Metroid species basically are not good. They latch onto things and they suck out all the life force, leaving behind an empty husk of a dead carcass or whatever. The last race of the Chozo is an advanced species of bird-like creatures that disappeared over centuries, yada yada yada. And then the native species are all very hostile and grew to be carnivorous in an arms race because of how dangerous this world was. Now you're caught up to speed. And now we can get moving. Okay, so the first time I went through this, I was talking about how I'm not good at these games because I've only played like four Metroid games in my entire life. One of which was Metroid Prime, which I only played for like 20 minutes. So I'm not going to be doing very well at this. But I did a lot better than I'm doing now because right now I just I just want to get back to where I was. I can do the entire the entire three missions in one in one episode. The entire three episodes in one episode. Let's just, let's do this. Let's go really, really fast. Okay, here's another point that I brought up earlier. I forgot to set my alarm, which is something that I do a lot. And in fact, it, it may as well just be my catchphrase. Because, uh, hey, Beardicus, I uh, forgot, oh, I forgot to set my alarm, Beardicus 2016. You can quote me on that, because it's my catchphrase. Okay, so, there was a fork in the road over there. Left or right, we gotta go left because right just leads to a dead end. And then, well, I mean, they both lead to dead ends, but, whoops. That's another thing I do a lot, I hit the wrong button. Even after an hour of playing this game, I'm still hitting the wrong button. It was more than an hour because the uh, 45 and 15 minute thing, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't count pausing. There was a lot of pausing. Uh, I wanted to go into this game blind. Like, I, I've i never played this game before. 
I didn't watch anybody else play this version of it. I've never played any version of it. I've never watched anybody play any version of it. I was going into it with as little information possible as I could, but now I know exactly how to do all of this part of it because I've done it twice already. Okay, this shaking is an earthquake and it's about to give me a data thingy. So it's an earthquake. That's that's all it says. This cave that I'm in right here was built between two te or it's located between two to two two, two, two tectonic plates which means that earthquakes are common and yet it's weird because there were no no scan uh the scans of the area showed that there was no instability of this area so it's weird that there are earthquakes happening but it's not like there's any giant creatures underneath here that could possibly be doing it right ha uh, no of course not I actually don't know. I haven't gotten that far into the game. I only beat the first area. I beat the first boss. It was actually a really cool moment, me fighting that boss. But, uh, yeah, you'll never get to see it because... I mean, you will get to see it because I'm still going to fight the boss. But you're not going to get to see me fight it the first time where I did really well. And I did... I was awesome because you saw me learning how to fight him. <sighs> I'll, I'll try and recreate it to a degree. I mean, I'm not going to bother trying to act like I don't know what to do, but... I'll show you how I figured it out. Yeah, yeah. There should be an energy tank nearby. Not like nearby, nearby, but I should get it eventually. Oh, here's something that happened on my second try through. I got hit by that, by something in that room. I got knocked into the lava and I couldn't get out until I was down to 25 health. Might have actually been in this room. I don't know. Yes, I know. I just ignored that health, but who cares? I just want to get through the opening here so that I can just pick it up where I was. Uh. 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 Okay, so we head up first. This time I should remember exactly what I had done in what order. Right, so we head over here and there should be an energy tank on the other side of this hallway. Nope, other side of this room. There's an energy tank in this room here. Nope, I forgot it. Well, I mean, that restores my energy, but oh, Cool, we got another thing to look at. The life cycle of Metroids. Metroids evolve into Metroid Alphas. There you go. Metroid Alpha. Metroid Alphas are weaker versions of Metroids despite the fact Metroids are, met are the larval stage. I know, it's weird, right? But larval Metroid are immune to lice, whereas normal Met- or Metroid larva are- only weak to ice, whereas Metroid Alphas are immune to ice, but weak to missiles. It's weird, right? But, whatever. It's convenient, because I wouldn't be able to fight... I wouldn't be able to fight larval Metroids right now. And given how many Metroids I have to fight in this area... Well, given that I have to fight all of the Metroids in this area before I'm allowed to continue, uh, it's pretty convenient that... I can already kill them. Uh, I have a headache. I gave myself a headache from this. Okay, I remember where the energy tank is. It's on the other end of... It's right here. Well, it, this is how you open it, and that's where it is. Okay. Okay. And then the other one you get in a similar fashion. I had two energy tanks and like 65 missiles. Uh, let's see. I don't think it's in there. I think it's up here. Yeah. Sorry, the, the controls in this are a little bit different than the Metroid controls I'm used to. Uh, 
Don't worry, we'll get to the blind playthrough eventually. Uh, this is a formerly blind playthrough, where I, at first I had no idea what I was doing, but now I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, we got some missiles, and then there's nothing over there, so let's go over here. Or at least there's nothing I know of over there, and I'm not going to bother looking. Because, quite frankly, I looked earlier, and I didn't find anything, so why would I find anything this time? Uh, okay, so we should get... So let's just head through here, I'll head down here, and then we'll get the spider ball... Which is, as I pointed out the first two times, convenient that we found that here, because if we had enough, we'd be stuck down here. Because we need the spider ball to get out. And then, as I pointed out, as I also pointed out the first two times, boy, this path is really taking a while. It's too bad we don't have any, like, fun stories to talk about, because I don't even remember what I've talked about in this in this playthrough versus the other two. So I, I don't, I'm going to be repeating myself. I guarantee it. Uh. I gave myself such a headache. Yeah, you know, I was, I was playing, I'm playing other games too. Like, I wasn't just going to be playing this. But this is the only game I'm playing today. Uh, you're not respecting my personal space. Uh, remember when I said that? No, you wouldn't because you didn't hear it. I was so funny the first time too. And even the second time. I spent like the entire time talking about how awesome I, I did the first time. In a joking manner, of course, because I, I actually didn't do very well at all. Uh, let's see. Let's we head down here next. I believe over here we get the charge beam. And then we can show up over here. Now we'll have the charge beam. Yay! You know what? I didn't check over here for anything. Fine. I didn't want anything anyway. Uh, and then there's a white door over here, but I don't know how to open it. So I'm just going to leave. I tried everything I could think of on that white door. By the way, it, it wasn't that I just saw it and left. It's that before, when I first found it, I tried everything I could think of to open it, and it wouldn't open, so I didn't know how to open it, so I just decided, okay, I'm just going to leave then. Um, and then over here, I commented on how I, probably I was probably supposed to do that first before I got the spider ball, because you come over here, and then you would see the spider ball, and it would be taunting you, but you wouldn't be able to get it. And it also made that area much easier. Whoops. And then we go this way. Um, where haven't I gone yet? All right, now we can go up here. Because the path I didn't take earlier over here will lead me outside, which is where I'm heading anyway. So I can check it to make sure I didn't forget about anything. And then once that recharges, I can head up. And make sure there was nothing up here of interest. But I'm pretty sure it's just a pathway. Yeah, it just leads over the thing. Okay. So I'm going to head back and let's go 
Fight some Metroids, I guess. Uh, let's see, how long has it been? Uh, I know this isn't the most entertaining thing to watch, but it'll be more, more entertaining when I get back to the area that I haven't done three, well, two times. Okay, um, this episode's gonna be a bit longer, I think. I'll, uh, cut through here. Um, so this is... Did I get the update yet? I don't know, probably not. But it's gonna tell me why this area is green, and that it's a basically a grading, uh, basically a breeding, basically this is a breeding ground for Metroids, and there are three Metroids in here. One is over here. Where are you, you little jerk? Come on. Here, boy. Here, boy. Come on out. Not respecting my personal space. See, I made the joke again because the first time I didn't even really make the joke. Okay, that's one. Okay. Um. So it's the first one. Just something up there. Who cares? Ow! Um. And then there's another one over here. an entire energy tank during that fight. I almost lost two. I guess that my extreme indifference is uh, causing more problems than it's solving, huh? Oh yeah, by the way, the third Metroid is over here. Well, that was convenient, or, well, maybe not convenient, but then there's going to be another shaky shake. There we go. Now we can head back to the, uh, <clears throat> now we can head back to the blue area. And another, another path will be open. Yay. And 65 missiles, two energy tanks. I have everything I had the last time. So I've officially... Well, okay. So I've found that all of the items I had last time. So I'm actually going to end this episode here. So tune in next time. Where I will probably catch up to where I was the first time. And then I'll be in a better mood. Because then I'll actually be playing blind again. So, I'll see you then. Goodbye. You are, you are recording. You're not f recording. What the hell? Okay. So, I just went back and noticed that, first of all, I had forgotten to hit record. Again! At the very least. 
This recording software has backward has like backward recording ability. So it can record things for an hour without me hitting record. So I was able to go back and record the first episode and that's why first episode is a thing. <sighs> but then I realized that I had accidentally set an overlay. I don't even know how I had set that overlay, and that's why there was a box in the corner the entire time in the first episode. And I don't even, I don't even know. I don't, oh. I don't know how many things can possibly, I don't know how I can make so many mistakes at once and fix them all and then make them all again. It's just, it's outstandingly impossible. Oh, God. My head is killing me.